power of each class of iron classic is highly dependent on the gear you have so it's very important to gear up your character with best pvp and best pv gear in game Stay with me for the next few minutes to see part of my live stream and to find out how to gear up with the best gear of Iron Classic. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Iron Classic content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. Okay, so let's talk this evening about one very important topic regarding gameplay of Iron Classic and that is next. How to gear up, how to get best gear in game in Endgame. So first, before we even talk about this topic, I need to divide gear into diff two different kind of gear setups. So PvP sets and PV sets of gear, right? So it depends. Do you want to gear up for both maybe, right? Probably you will want to do that. But first, let's talk about PvP gear. And that is easy. That is actually pretty simple. Best PvP gear in game is Abyss gear. How to get Abyss gear? Well, you can buy it from different kind of NPCs. I'm standing here in Sanctum to show you some of the Abyss gear. Let's check it out uh, for one second. And before we talk into details, I still didn't see patch notes. Which gear will we actually get? I mean, obvious gear, right? Which medals? Uh, what kind of schedule will you have for sieges that you can earn these medals? However, you can see here, you're able to buy different kind of obvious gear, not only a set level 50, maybe set level 40 you want to buy, maybe set level 30, in the future also set level 55. For Iron Classic European release, we should get update 1.9. That means that set level 50 obby set level 50 should be the best pvp gear in the game so regarding pvp gear you don't need to think that much actually regarding uh, in generally regarding armor let me show you here uh, basically this armor also here we have armor level 30 uh, there are different kind of sets but in generally regarding armor if you want to gear up for pvp there is no question collect farm obby's points and buy yourself best gear in the game pvp gear in the game and that is abyss gear and of course a logical question would be how to get abyss points and for that i have already made a dedicated video on my youtube channel you can check a video with title how to farm how to earn abyss points in update 1.9 check it out on my youtube channel because right now i will not dive into that but there are a few different very good ways how to farm abyss points about medals also you can farm medals uh, from sieges maybe there will be some daily or weekly quests but like i said we still didn't get any kind of patch notes i don't know details i wish i have some details but don't forget you need to attend sieges and also very important to say medals will be tradable that means that you'll be able to sell and buy medals on broker and maybe to play on alts and transfer these medals to main characters so don't forget Medals are tradable, they should be tradable at least, if Antisoft and Gameforge didn't change anything. And Abyss Points, there are a few different ways how to collect them, right? You need to play different kind of things in the game. Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel with that topic. But regarding PvP set, it's easy. Best set in the game is Abyss Gear. Now, let's talk about best PV set in the game. And you have two very good options there. Anuhart set or Miragent or Fenris gear. Now, what is and where you can get Anuhart set? Let me show you here. Uh, for example, let's go in the map. Let's go to Heron. And here we go. So Anuhart set is dropping in Dark Poeta. Dark Poeta will be endgame dungeon of Iron Classic 1.9 european version of the game dark poeta you need to run or there you'll find lots of different kind of bosses including anuhart and legendary tahabata inside here you'll find anuhart gear i i mean i'm already preparing video and you will see it on my youtube channel regarding details about anuhart gear about miragent set fenry set but for this video regarding pve gear keep in your mind regarding armor you should get you should go to dark poeta and get anuhart gear another good option would be miragent set or fenry set however i mean when you compare the stats of these two sets 
uh, it's really it's really debatable I, I, I will talk about that in some other dedicated videos I'll talk about that in some other dedicated videos I will compare Anuhart and Miragent said uh, it's not easy to get Miragent or Fenris it's uh, very hard uh, you need to level up your, your profession to 449 you need to spend lots of kina and lots of time so best pv sets in the game should be Anuhart set from Dark Poeta and Fenris and Miragent set it's entirely up to you which one you'll choose to go for. I would highly recommend to you to go for Anuhart set. Anuhart said it should be easier to get. But regarding stats, that's another story. Like I said, for another video. Now, also, I just want to mention here briefly. I just want to mention here briefly regarding gearing up. You will visit this dungeon also a lot. Steel Rake. Steel Rake, currently here in North America, update 2.5 is a solo dungeon. But for update 1.9, it should be group dungeon. We will see about that. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter is it solo dungeon or group dungeon. During your leveling process, you actually want to go into Steel Rake because over there you will get Steel Beard set. That set is not endgame set, to be clear, but you will have it on yourself for a longer time until you get something better, like, Anuh like Anuhart, like Miragent or something else. So Steel Rake from level 40 and above, go there. It doesn't matter will it be group dungeon or solo dungeon. Another reason why you want to go there because stigmas are dropping there. Any kind of stigmas you can get there. If you get something for your class, nice. If you don't, uh, if you get something which you don't like, you can sell it broker. So I can highly recommend move to Steel Rake. Regarding other gear, yes, there are many different kinds of gear. When you, when you level up your character, you'll be able to buy coin gear. There are different kinds of coins, all depends on which level you are, and you can buy different kinds of sets. But I would highly recommend to you, don't don't stay too long on any kind of coin set. I will not go now into details about coin set because there are different kinds of coins, but those sets are only for leveling. As soon as you reach end game, as soon as you level up to, let's say, maximum level or close, go for Abyss gear, best gear in the game, or go for Anuhart set, try to go to Dark Poeta, or even move for Miragent or Fenris, right? So don't stay long on coin set. Maybe you could stay for a while on Steel Beard set, Steel Rake for PvE, because it's actually a pretty decent set. It, have, it has also some set effects. So check it out. There is also weapon over there. So regarding armor and gearing up for this part of live stream, uh, I think it's, it's clear, right? If you are a new player to Ion, shortly in one sentence, best PvP gear in the game is Abyss gear. Get it, buy it for Abyss points and different kind of medals. Best PV set in the game should be, should be Anuhart set, Miragent or Fenris. Regarding weapons, well, that's uh, another story for another video best weapons in the game for example if you're a gladiator maybe you will want to go to drought near cave to go to get extendable weapon but karma spear or maybe if if you are playing chanter like me currently here right i'm also playing gladiator and i will probably play gladiator as my main class but for this video currently in north america i'm on my chanter for example for chanter if you want to get extendable weapon you'll want to go to tl Tiombo slab to get trioran weapon but that's a story for another video for this evening i just wanted to talk a little bit shortly about best pvp and best pv gear in the game and yeah i think this would be briefly right uh, explanation what to do in endgame if you are interested into iron classic and other details about this gear check my youtube channel i have already made lots of guides and i'm preparing new guides for release of the game and you will see over there details about Anuhart set, uh, Miragent, Fenris and many other gear parts right uh, in Endgame of Iron. If you are watching this as live stream, let's go for it live stream. If you are watching this as video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Iron Classic content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.